everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Does anybody remember this scenery here? I've done a couple of my videos here, caught a couple of fish on, on video too. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to get out, get some different scenery for the day, go for a bicycle ride. And uh, I'm, I don't plan on really catching anything, but I figured, what the heck, might as well throw my lure in and uh, see what happens. So anyway, a while back, I did a video um, talking about tobaccos that I didn't like. Now, I needed some extra, well there was a couple at the very end that I put on there that I wasn't quite sure I should, but I did anyway. And that was, uh, well one of them was Jackknife Plug by GL Peace. Well, one of my commenters, a, uh, a very good supporter of the YTPC and especially my channel, that would be Challenger Dart. Well, he said he liked it. Kind of uh, insinuated that maybe I wasn't smoking it right. So I thought, all right, I'll give it another chance. Maybe I'll do a review on it, just for you, Mr. Dart. So this time I dried it out really good. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like right here. It is a really nice looking whole leaf plug, pretty much a whole leaf plug. And I just uh, hacksaw it off with a, not a jackknife, but one of those ceramic knives. Man, those are great knives, they're really sharp. They just chip, that's the only problem. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it's a really nice looking plug. The smell that you get when you when you give it a good smell is, there's a little bit of tanginess there. There's that slight barbecue smoky smell that you'd get from the dark fire. By the way, uh, I think the contents of tobacco are bright Virginia, I think there's some uh, so Virginia in there, and some dark fire. Don't think there's any Perique in it. So it is touted as being a very heavy blend, strong blend, high in nicotine. And that's what I kind of was expecting when I first, first smoked it. But what did I actually get? Well, let me light up and I'll tell you what I'm getting now. Got my little wind cap on there. I haven't seen anybody using wind caps in a while. It's great for a day like today when it's a little windy. Hopefully it's not gonna affect my video. Takes a couple puffs to get going. Usually don't get anything right away. But it makes a world of difference now that I dried it out to almost crispy. You can really taste in the back of your throat. You're getting a nice, almost harsh kick, a spice in the back of your, uh, right in the back of your, your nose there in the sinuses. You can taste a little bit of that tangy, barbecue nests there that those Virginias kind of remind me of like a tangy red Virginia barbecue sauce hickory a little more tangy than hickory but a little bit of that kind of hickory dark fired mm. it builds as you go down at first I wasn't too impressed but I have to say, it's better than what I, when I first tried it. When I first tried it, I wasn't really getting anything. I think there might be a little bit of a chemical, uh, something about this, the dark fired in it that, that my, uh, my body chemistry doesn't like. Because I can tell there's a real strong taste there. I can tell, but I'm not quite tasting it. It's sort of like if you know when you have a cold and you know you should be tasting something, but you just can't quite taste it. That's what I'm getting with this blend. I know it's stronger than it is. I'm just not getting that full strength. And I don't know why that is. I think maybe there's just uh, dark fired like that sometimes. It's kind of a, it can be a real bitey tobacco, a real, a real um, hard tobacco to blend, I think, unless you really know what you're doing or unless you, you know, you have the body chemistry for it. Like Gowith and Hogarth, I find that they're dark fired Virginias and Burleys. I can taste those are awesome, strong tobaccos that never fail me. Other tobaccos, especially from Sutliff and Cornell and Deal, unless they're blended right, I have a real hard time getting their dark fired blends to pop for me. Uh, I, I, another company that does really good dark fired blends is McBaron, although they bite me something ferocious, so that's the downfall with their blends. So, what do I think of it? I like it. It's better than I thought. I wouldn't say I hate it. I definitely don't hate it. 
Um, an alternative for this one still, though, I would say would be, say, um, brown bogey or not brown number four, but um, uh, brown Irish axe. To me, it's just the same as this, just stronger, smoother, just a better blend for me. But this one, this one's not too bad, too. So there you go. No longer on my dislike list, um, but not my favorite either. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed my review, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.